Yeah, tough one for the Bulls and Milos Dijovsky tonight. Call, big call went against them. Um, this man would be pretty happy though with Fuktale. Make four zip the score. We spoke a lot pre-game about the fact you guys hadn't beaten the Bulls all season. Must be pretty satisfying and to go through to the semi-finals, although you weren't completely happy with the performance. Yeah, definitely uh, happy with the uh, end result. Uh, we continue on our journey, which is very important. Uh, the attitude and mentality was fantastic when it was uh, 11 v 11. I think the uh, mentality dropped when they went one player down, which I wasn't happy with at halftime. And that's something that we uh, discussed with the players. And I think the attitude and the intensity and the mentality definitely shifted in the second half. And, and we created moments that scored goals from. And we definitely saw that. We saw um, after the red card, the Bulls actually come into the game. You dominated the first half of the first half. What did you say to them at halftime? Because we saw that shift again immediately in the yeah. second half. What we did was we, we definitely showed them a couple of clips of what we were doing and we were relying on uh, other people to do it, to do, to do their jobs. So, and I said to them, if we, we play like this in the second half, we'll allowed to come back into the game. So our mentality had to shift and the boys did uh, adjust to it and they, they shifted again. And, and like we said, we created some good moments and scored some good goals and uh, we continue on our journey. And the tactical side of the game then, Ulfie, obviously you identified what went wrong in the two previous games. Uh, talk us through that. I mean, the personnel you brought in, having Joel King and Courtney Perkins both in, you tried to overload that midfield. Talk us through the, the tactical planning in this game. Yeah, well, the space that they gave us was on, on either side of Jermaine and, and Davila. Uh, their wingers tend to follow follow the player into the spaces and they drop down pretty flat. So we brought Rhino and uh, Joel King inside next to Bratzi and created three sixes and tried to push Corey on and create another uh, midfielder in between the lines and isolate those moments where we can get Joe on the ball 1v1 to take players on and also if those spaces open up for forward runs into those areas and I thought you know with the ball we had some very good moments especially in the second half with, like, against 10 men uh, but something definitely we can always improve on. Let's talk about Joe Lolly, the exceptional, the strike, the goal just a bomb. unbelievable. A, a, a bomb. I think uh, it was an unbelievable goal from Joe. Uh, Joe can always pull something out like that whether he's curling it, whether he's hitting with his laces and it was a fantastic finish. Uh, the only problem is we'll have to assess him to see where he's at. I think he uh, felt his, uh, his standing foot, his right hamstring as he's, his, as he's lashed onto that ball. So hopefully he'll be available for the next game. So he looked mighty disappointed. I mean, it was head in hands and then a water bottle was thrown as well. I mean, is he thinking that could be him missing out next week? Is, is it that dire? Yeah, look, I, I wouldn't say anything's dire until it gets, we get a scan on it and we find out what's really happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah Joe's not a doctor. I know he feels something. He knows his own body quite well. But once we get a scan, we'll have a better, better idea of where he stands. And I think Luke Bratton's the other one who came off and, and looked uh, a little bit dis It's different with his when you look at how it happened, more of an impact injury. How was he in the change room? Yeah, he's uh, feeling sore as well. Uh, Bratsy tends to t take a lot of knocks and continue and stay on the park but obviously, obviously this one has hurt him so he's come off but again similar to Joe we'll have to assess him and see where they are. So you've scored 11 goals here in your last two games which is excellent you got the clean sheet here tonight which is fantastic who would you prefer to play here again next week? I asked Robbie Mack he told me one thing I'm not going to put any words in your mouth <laughs> yeah, who, look, who would you like you're to play? You're asking me a question that I can't control unfortunately yeah. <laughs> so it is what it is whoever we get is what we get uh, whether it's Central Coast or Wellington, you know, we have to go off the result of, of, of tomorrow's game. OK. Well, Robbie Mack, he said, just for the record, he wants to play <laughs> against the Mariners because you guys... He doesn't want to travel. Yeah, yeah there you <laughs> go. Yeah, right. Well, one team that has been... Congratulations uh, on a cracker, and we'll see you next week. Yes, but, thank you. yeah, one team that has been doing a lot of...